Hello there! Canonical has come up with something new for Ubuntu LTS users to draw attention to Ubuntu Pro. If you update a system in the terminal, you constantly get a message that certain packages can only be updated with an Ubuntu Pro subscription. I will show you what you can do about this in this video. Ready, set, go! Those who use Ubuntu LTS systems rely on long-term maintenance, consistency and stability. As part of long-term maintenance, each LTS version receives 5 years of long-term maintenance. This can even be taken to the extreme with Ubuntu Pro and extend to a total of 12 years nowadays. This means that if desired, one Ubuntu LTS version can cover the entire lifetime of a PC. At 12 years this could certainly be assumed. But first, let us briefly clarify the terminology. LTS stands for long-term support. STS stands for short-term support. These are the interim versions of Ubuntu. In other words, all Ubuntu releases that do not come with 5 years of maintenance. ESM stands for Extended Security Maintenance. Ubuntu Pro is a subscription service from Canonical for Ubuntu LTS systems. Snap is a software package format developed by Canonical a container format. The 12 years are made up of 5 years of LTS and 7 years of ESM support. That makes a total of 12 years. Ubuntu Pro can be optionally booked for LTS systems. To use Ubuntu Pro an account must be created at Canonical. In short, a token must be generated and imported so that the system is registered. Snap is not absolutely necessary for this, but with live patch there is a small restriction in the form that the notification of available live patches in the bar does not work properly. Ubuntu Pro is available free of charge for up to 5 instances. For example, I can register 5 computers for Ubuntu Pro free of charge for the family under one account and thus get up to 12 years of protection for the systems. Canonical has an interesting solution on offer. Ubuntu LTS in conjunction with Ubuntu Pro offers you and me much longer support periods for our computers than Microsoft does for Windows or Apple does for Mac OS. However, Ubuntu Pro suffers somewhat from Canonical's policy. In the past, Canonical made decisions that were criticized and rejected by the Linux and open source community. This flavor still resonates today. This means that pretty much every idea or initiative from Canonical is initially received with caution. Canonical also seems to realize this. And so Ubuntu Pro is being advertised to make customers aware of it. And here it starts. Advertising in a Linux environment does not work well. Many people switch to Linux to avoid being bombarded by the manufacturer with adverts for additional subscriptions and things like that. Admittedly, Ubuntu does not bombard you like other operating systems. But there are still adverts. At the end of 2023, there was the first wave of advertising for Ubuntu Pro. I reported on this at the time and presented a solution. But now, Canonical has come up with another advert and it seems to have met with the same level of disapproval. And we are now looking what options we have. Let's talk about the following 5 ways out. Booking an Ubuntu Pro subscription, switch to Ubuntu SDS, choose another distro, live with the advertising, turn off advertising. Booking an Ubuntu Pro subscription. You should not exclude this option. I also use Ubuntu Pro. I use it as best I can to secure a system that should simply run and whose availability is very important to me. Incidentally, the system runs without Snap and instead with the alternative Flatpak. So if you like Ubuntu LTS, you can definitely consider this option. Switch to Ubuntu STS. Anyone using the interim versions, in other words the STS versions of Ubuntu, will not see the messages as this is a different target group. The advantage of STS is that you are always up to date in the Ubuntu Cosmos. 
The disadvantage is that may not all is quite as stable as LTS, especially shortly after release. Minor bugs have to be fixed first. So you may should be patient and wait two, three, four or five weeks. But please keep in mind that you can maximum wait for three months. If you want to switch from LTS to STS, you can do it here. Search for update and then go on software and updates. Choose the writer updates. And in the last one, notify me of a new Ubuntu version. Switch from long-term support versions to any new version. You have to provide your password and afterwards a pop-up comes up that notifies you that a newer version of Ubuntu is available and offers you to upgrade now. Next, choose another distro. If you don't like the AdWords and Ubuntu, then choosing a different distro might be the better choice for you. There are various options here. Debian Stable or LMDE are the only options I can think of the top of my head. But there are other distros. There is a ton of distros available. Next, live with the advertising. Probably the weakest proposal for you to stick with the status quo, right? But at least you have to put this option on the table, but you don't have to take it in the end. Last one, turn off advertising. Want to switch off the adverts? No problem, but we need the terminal for this. We will open a terminal and I also have a script here, but not to worry, you don't have to type it or to pause the video. All commands are in the description below. So first, let me show you the problem or the issue. sudo apt upgrade. And there you see, get more security updates through Ubuntu Pro with ESM apps enabled, then followed by a list of packages that are available for Ubuntu Pro subscribers, but not for me. And learn about more Ubuntu Pro at ubuntu.com slash pro. So, we want to turn this advert off. First, we have to go to etc apt apt.conf.d. Copy it, paste it, boom, ll. And here are some files, some repository configurations. And there is one file we will modify now. 20 apt esm hookconf First, we will create a backup of this file. And we will copy this backup to the download folder in your home directory. Let's check if the file is there. LL. And we we'll see, there it is. Okay, all good. Next step is to truncate the file 20aptesmhook.conf. Paste in, boom. Now let's make a check if all was successful. We make a cat on this file. If the file would have some content, it would be shown now. And as there is no content available, the file is empty. So lastly, let's do a sudo apt upgrade again. And there we go, the advert is gone, very well. However, it could be that Canonical will come up with something new in the future and we will either have to repeat this step or find and present a new solution. We will see. I think the idea behind Ubuntu Pro is good and I use it. But I think it's a shame that a kind of two-tier society is emerging on the other side. Those with normal LTS support get fewer updates than those with Ubuntu Pro. I don't think that's ideal. On the other hand, Canonical maintains over 23,000 additional packages as part of Ubuntu Pro, which are available in the universe package source. This is an improvement for Ubuntu LTS users, but not an ideal situation. It would be wrong to discredit or criticize Ubuntu for this again. Taking over the maintenance of universe is a positive signal and improves the situation as mentioned. The fact that the multiverse package source is still unresolved in terms of support responsibility is still a bitter aftertaste. But that's nothing new. This is not necessarily different for other distros either. 
Debian, for example, offers security patches in a stable branch for packages from the main repository. If you are using packages from Contrib and non-free, you should not be lulled into a false sense of security. As far as I know, the security team of Debian maintains the main package source. So the situation is not significantly different from Ubuntu LTS. So I don't think the Ubuntu Pro approach is entirely bad. However, I think that advertising it is completely the wrong approach. Canonical will probably miss the target group. People who use Linux obviously react somewhat more sensitively and negatively to such messages. The advertising format should therefore be changed here. Should someone from Canonical be watching here, why not try a good social media campaign instead of annoying users in the terminal? What do you think about Ubuntu Pro? Do you think it's a good thing or do you think it will create a two-class society within Ubuntu LTS users? Why don't you write it in the comments? If the video was helpful for you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and press the bell. If you want to support my project, you can join my YouTube membership. With this you can support my project directly and as a little goodie you get access to my videos earlier. If you would like to honor my work, this is your opportunity. Thanks for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. Take care, see you at the next time if you want. Peace.